Guys, Dennis Cage here again, underwriting department, First Union Lending. Look, as I take a look at the current state of the economy, I can't help but feel that things seem a little bit too calm. Now, it's surprising to see this level of calmness right now, given what's going on with the banking crisis, the high inflation, the retail stores, right? You know, however, credit card spending data from Citi and Bank of America show that aggregate retail spending has only slightly decreased compared to February. Sectors like home improvement, home furnishings, um, you know, those are seeing the largest decline in sales, which can be expected. Apparel, food, restaurants, like I've said before, you know, they continue to be holding up well. Now, according to CNBC uh, Survey Monkey, small businesses uh, have been surveyed for 2023. About 47% of small business owners believe that the economy is already in a recession. However, the sentiment about the U.S. economy and the markets has improved as many in, uh, investors are now becoming bullish on stocks, right? Because stocks have already kind of discounted in a mild recession, but businesses remain pessimistic, okay? And a lack of confidence in the ability to control inflation uh, is one of the biggest things that the, that the small businesses are worried about. You know, businesses are still reporting a recession-like environment, even though Powell says, uh, you know, that the worst is over, right? So where is this recession? Now, we know that a recession typically lags by about three months, right? So changes that were made three months ago are now coming to fruition. This whole role in recession situation. You don't really know if you're in a recession if you're not. Your industry may be, but the industry next door may not be. It's really difficult for small businesses to gauge where we're at today. What I will say is that right now, you have to make a decision. And that decision is to continue, okay? is to continue the course because a rolling recession, right? It's more like a dull pain, like a dull ache, almost like a, you know, like you twisted your ankle in the morning, right? Getting out of bed, this dull pain, right? It sticks around a little bit longer. Okay, but it's dull, it's manageable. And that's what I think a rolling recession is and what you should what you should see it as, as a small business owner. All you have to do is kind of outlast it because you know it'll go away. Dull pain will eventually go away. You're now in a position where you simply have to outlast that dull pain. That dull pain can come, it can go, all right? It can be a little bit worse on some days, a little bit better on other days. And that's my idea of what a rolling recession is. A typical recession is more like a broken leg, right? You're running somewhere, you trip on a rock, your leg snaps, that's immediate, that hurts. That's something you don't know if you're okay. That's something you don't wanna deal with. And it's something that when it happens, you know it just happened. And so that's what a more typical severe recession would look like. So the good news with the severe recession is, is that you know it's there. It is quicker it happens faster it's more severe and you know it's here but at the same time the recovery the recovery is a pain in the ass but it's that uncertain time right that we're having right now that's what scares people look business owners again mild recession rolling recession dull pain take a couple tylenol get a good night's sleep and get back to work because this is gonna be over. I personally think Powell is doing what he has to do. I think he's doing or working with what he has to work with. I studied Volcker, okay, in the 1980s. Volcker had the same issue. He was a, the Fed chair. And this is when some of the you know highest uh, mortgage rates were out there, 17, 18% APR on a mortgage, on a 30 year fixed mortgage. And people were crazy that it's 7% now, 6%. But if you look at those times, like the Volcker times, in Inflation ran away. It got away from people. And because it got away from people, it made it difficult. With that said, it drives them rates up. You, you, you end up getting the, uh, the inflation to come down. And Jerome Powell is following that same playbook. Doesn't feel great, but it could be worse. So for now, get out there. Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. All right. Stop being scared. If we get to a point where it's time to be scared, I'll let you know. But by the time we get there, you better have your bunker ready because it's pretty much the last of us type of a situation. But if you don't see zombies walking around with mushroom heads, then we're probably going to be okay. So keep going out there, do what you do, and make it a productive day.